YouTube Game Room Tour 2020. First time for me ever to do a Game Room Tour. Bring you in here, walk in. Steelers, of course. Got some Steelers and Pirates, McFarland starting lineup. So this is basically a man cave slash game room for me. Just giving you a quick panorama. So I actually collect video games, current gen and retro. All the retro stuff is in here. Some action figures, mainly G.I. Joe and sports cards. We'll go over that real quick. So here I threw this shelf up because I didn't have enough room for one of these bigger shelves over in this corner. So I just do all the cartridges, Atari, some NDS, 3DS, loose Genesis, and Sega Master System, loose Super Nintendo, and Super Famicom, loose N64, and got some loose Famicom. Just got this. Snake Eyes, six inch. Love this figure. G.I. Joe's coming back. Got the Foolish Ninja. And then the Marvel Legends, White Hand Ninja. But the Snake Eyes was a Hasbro exclusive. Paid like 50 bucks shipped. But great figure. Some Gears of War hanging back there. Again, for the video game theme of things. Got action figures across top, some loose. Star Wars Black Series just recently got into Star Wars. I just get some figures here and there for the Black Series. Here we got the original Xbox games. I'm up to about 3,000 games. Loose, CIB, etc. And it's kind of going through my collection and selling stuff off as. I don't want or need certain things. Then I have PS1 that runs across the whole middle section of CD. So over here we have the Dreamcast stuff. Uh, the Lunar, Complete in Box, some Sega Saturn, Japanese. And then miscellaneous... Uh, PC games, Mega CD, which is Japanese, and then the rest of uh, my original Xbox and 360 at the bottom. If you guys want me to focus on a certain collection later on, let me know. Ultimate Warrior is my favorite wrestler as a kid, so I picked him up randomly. He was on clearance. The Bullet Storm figure, I finished that game, loved it on Xbox 360. I think that Deadpool, I think it was a Target exclusive. Loose Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis. Got the Star Wars on clearance and GameStop. I have another one, so I might break those apart and sell them on eBay again. It's all about flipping stuff right that you get something you really want later on. Some loose, some more loose Super Nintendo. The three and three quarters inch Gears of War on top. Got those from Toys R Us back in the day, a couple years back. And then the kill zone figures with the Titanfall 2. Here's the GameCube. I'm getting a new appreciation for GameCube games. And then here's some of my CIB Nintendo or Nintendo Entertainment System. And then my loose NES games. And then we got the PS1, like I said, running across. In alphabetical order, some more loose nests, and the 360 starts here. Everything's in alphabetical order. Some CIB Super Nintendo and N64. So I try to keep in order the best I could. Have a random game com. I love Duke Nukem. Duke Nukem, Wolfenstein, 3D. This game's really made me fall in love with 
shooters and gaming. Big old Deadpool up there. There's a Doom 2 PC. Doom figure I got from GameStop. And now we have our, well, it's our PS2 layover from the other show, if you'll see in a minute. PS3 games. I was big into Xbox. I don't have as much PlayStation 3 or 1 because I was all about the Xbox and 360 and now the Xbox One. But like I said, it's all going to be retro stuff. My current gen's out in the lofts. So the kids can get to it and play the PS4 and the Xbox One. Here's PSP. And like I said, next gen will be here before you know it by the holidays but we'll see ps1 really like ps1 games sega master system these things have been really hard to come by most of these are cib or missing manual and then we come down to the genesis i really love the genesis cases how they display and wii u and wii i sold off most of my wii stuff because i have a hacked wii 3dx excuse me 32x and that's a there's maybe a handful of games for that it didn't last long my ryu sub-zero three and three quarter uh mortal kombat three and three quarter ryu i got from gamestop more street fire figures our Street Fire figure, I think it's a soda. These are definitely soda Street Fire. I love these six inch figures. And then some Mortal Kombat. Random Thundercats, Ryu Amiibo, because I love Street Fighter. Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat is what I grew up on, my favorite fighting games. And then PS2, I think I have oh, 500. PS2 games because they're so easy to come across in the wild and people just pretty much give them away. But I think eventually between this and the Xbox, I'll try to figure out which I have duplicates are and start selling it off. Then this Doom poster that came with the Doom game from Xbox One. That game was hard. Then my G.I. Joe stuff, some an Argentina figure I'm probably going to sell off. Wu figures are really cool. Modern Joes. I love the Alley Viper and that Pair of Viper and that Iron Grenadier. Throwback. Tigerfly. Sky Striker. Modern and Vintage. Rattler. It's a must have for any collector. Modern Dragonfly. And this is the G.I. Joe headquarters. I got custom. Somebody painted it cobra colors and really cool then I was part of the I would call it the motor pool or the garage some his tanks I love the his tanks and then this is my vintage shelf cobra Again, I'll go over this if you guys want to see it more in detail. I'm just trying to waste too much time here. If you guys want to see something more detailed, this is modern Cobra figures. These started up being about 2007 and just ended a couple years ago. Thrown, somebody 3D printed it on eBay and I snagged it up. And then these are the vintage G.I. Joes. Some more vintage stuff. And then the modern. I don't have too much modern. That custom Sergeant Slaughter came from a local guy, mine, friend. Goes by Son of Austin on Instagram. Marauder's figure back there. Gun Runners, if you're not familiar with them. And then Motor Pool, some more vehicles back there. My favorite vehicle. 1990 Hammer, I love the vehicle, Tiger Force, custom vehicle I did, but I'll call that my motor pool, and some play sets, these things are, are great, the command post, 
And then, of course, the game room part of it, which you guys probably really want to see. I got this idea, this setup from Gaming the Systems YouTube channel. Most these systems are hooked up, and if they're hooked up, they're definitely working. I took his idea of putting the power supply up top so you can control the power run to the systems. Castle Grayskull, it's not complete, but I thought it looked cool. Uh, Japanese Saturn, PS1, box systems, all these hooked up to this switch right there. You flip that switch, and it runs over to that switch down there. And I'll run to the TV, which so I can run component HDMI or AV systems or RCA, I should say. PS1's not hooked up. PS2, PS3 is master system. And then I bought these little baskets. Thought it was super cool. I could throw the controllers in there, but also down here under each shelf. put these plastic bins this one I think has some um, yeah these are all these are power plugs oh, and then another one that one's got controllers in it and that one's got controllers miscellaneous down there but I put these shelves high enough to I could put these plastic bins underneath and hold controllers and I got the baskets for controllers I'm gonna play regularly that's a little HDMI switch cheap but it works, HDMI switch. You know, this TV I think has three HDMI inputs. Uh, the PC I'm gonna run LaunchBox on. Got the OG Xbox 360, the Xbox One. Unfortunately, the disk drive crapped out, so I'm just playing pinball and some other stuff I can play online. Running the Xbox with XBMC, you're running Marvel's Capcom. Great fighting game. And then some handhelds, I have more, but some Game Boys, Neo Geo Pocket. Y'all remember these, the Tigers. And just some box systems. Love this G.I. Joe. Got this picture blown up and printed at FedEx. Uh, Street Fighter, it came off the arcade one up. You guys saw in the beginning of the video. I modded that with the Raspberry Pi. And I bought a lighted marquee. It's kind of falling apart, so I probably need to buy another one. The classic systems, those are modded too. Gamecom, I had a sealed one, but I sent it to a co-worker of mine in Barcelona because he collects a lot more systems than I do, so I, I bought that one cheap. GameCube, we try keeping the systems kind of together. These are all the Nintendo systems. Again, there's my middle switch. You flip those switches, and then it'll route to that switch, and then boom, pop up on the TV. So again, I got the idea from gaming the systems. There's the baskets with my controllers. CDI, I'm not really main games on there. It looks like a big old VCR. I have a new appreciation for a 3DO. Great system, you can actually burn games and play it. Got the Intellivision, Atari. Those are actually hooked up and playable. Atari Jaguar. I actually bought a AV, you can plug it into the back, didn't realize I had it so recently, so I got that up and running. And then we have some boxed Magnavox, Atari, Television, Jaguar, Sega, I'm such a sucker for Sega Saturn games. There's the NEC PCFX, looks like a PC, I don't have the current system. Sega Saturn, Sega CD, I'm a sucker for these long box PS1, Neo Geo, I love, but they're expensive, and the 3DO. Just, these are just those oddball sized games, but I love the way they display. And some of my graded sports car stuff, just got back in a sports card recently. Big Pittsburgh fan, as you can see. Um. I need to do some sorting while well, the boxes are on my couch. And then the tables here, that's just temporary. It's when I film my retail rips or anything card related I've been filming on here. But overall, quick video for you guys to see the game room. 
Love to hear what you think, comments, suggestions, whatever have you. All right, JJ out.